So I just want to talk, I just want to share a couple ideas, a couple ideas about how to get our guys, how to get your guys better, how to get your guys better, getting them some repetitions. As you're working on their shooting, you're also working on the passing. I feel like the good ones really find a way with the little time they have to maximize on everything. I have a gym, I have a basketball. I don't just want to work on, pass, on shooting. Now we're going to work on passing and shooting. Say we get a guy shooting from the wing. All right, we get a guy that's shooting from the wing. Up top, move back, move back right there, right there. That's perfect. You come here, you'll be the passer. For the sake of, of just this, this, uh, this, this platform here, he's not going to shoot the basketball. All, right? All I want you to do when you catch the ball, when you catch the ball, it's just going to pass it to you and do this. That's all I want you to do, okay? So to start, very, so I'll be the rebounder. I have to say I'm working with two players. He gets the ball, pass it to him. Give me a good pass. Good. Pass it back. Pass it to him. Good. Pass it back. Now I'm here. Pass it to him. Now he's got to pass it around. Nope. See, he gave him a bounce pass. Don't want to give him a bounce pass. Find a way to give him a pass on time, on target, with a defender on you. There you go. I don't know if you've noticed. Initially, when he passed the ball, he went like this. I think. I think. All right? He went like this. But now, there's a defender in front of him. He pivoted away from the defender and passed the ball. Passed the ball. But guess what? He doesn't learn this lesson if I'm out here passing. So now he starts to understand that when there's a defender on me, all right, I can pivot and pass, I can take a dribble and pass, and that sort of thing, just for the simple fact that I removed myself from the drill and I put the player in charge of his own improvement and development. Does it make sense? Please stop me anytime. So now, the same token. So now this is just the regular pass. Ball back. This happens in the game. This guy's still shooting. This guy's still shooting. He'll get his five shots or ten shots or whatnot. Now, all I want you to do, take a couple dribble and pass it to him. Go. Pass. Now, stay there. Don't move. Don't move. Just stay there. All right? You come here. You come here. You got the ball. All right, come on. Pass. Okay? So let me be you. You guard me. Now, I'm working with a player. Says he's taking ten shots. But in those 10 shots, I may say two straight, two like this, move back, move back. I'm not very good, so you don't want to embarrass me, all right? Don't pressure me. So I'll say just two passes, boom, right there. Bring it back, bring it back. Two passes, boom. Now we're working on passing. We're still working on passing, and his teammates is getting shots. Maybe he'll shoot five, and then we rotate. You see what I'm saying? Bring it back here, bring it back here. He's still shooting from there. He's still shooting from the wing. Ball here, ball here. Still right there. Now, I may toss it to him. Attack middle and make that pass. Two dribbles and make that pass. Boom. All right? I'm the defender. I get a great opportunity to, che to teach him the fundamentals of the game. See how I said take two dribbles and make the pass? It went way high. No, I want you to come off my shoulders. Ball here, ball here, ball here. Toss it to me. Toss it to me. I'll demonstrate. Toss it to me. Boom. I'm coming off and I'm making a pass. So now I get to teach him how to attack the defense, but we're still working on shooting, and we're working on passing. So now we're accomplishing a lot more than if I was there passing the ball. You see what I'm saying? Bring the ball back. Same thing, attack baseline and make the pass. Boom, right there. Bring it back. Attack the ball, I want you to come off my hip, all right? Dip your shoulder, come off, come off my hip, attack it, under control, and make a pass on time, on target. Ready, go. Oh. Very good, not bad. Now he's helping his teammate. Again, so maybe we'll take five, now we'll take, say he's making 10, so he has to make 10 shots. We got two up there, two dribbling down, two from the wing, and we change, you can get as creative as you want. Now we're here, now we're here. Move up a little bit. Same spot, same spot. You've all, you've all heard of the swing, swing pass. Cause we all, all, every offense is designed to create an advantage and then your first pass will determine whether you keep your advantage or you lose your advantage. Now, 
the way you pass, the quality of your pass will also determine, determine whether you're able to maintain that advantage. So now we have an advantage and I pass the ball and my teammate has to catch the ball here. Guess what? The defense recovers and now we have to start all over again. How many times watching the game, you'll see they create something, something good, and then boom, bad pass, the defense recovers. Now we got to start back to zero. Just because we did not take the passing, the fundamental of passing, serious enough. All right? On this one, ball here, we grab the rebound, kick it, swing to him. Good, not bad. Again, so I'm here as a coach, I rebound the basketball, swing, swing. Good. Another pass you can make. The same thing. So we catch the ball here, all right? Catch the ball, get the ball here, get it quick, maybe pass fake, look at it, pass again, all right? That's okay. So, see what? No, just, just, go ahead. Swing it to Good, not bad. All right, so now, same thing. I want you to drive, attack the nail, attack the nail, get here, and make that pass, all right? Go. I'm gonna stop you. Boom, make that pass, good, bring it back. As a coach, or I can, I'm here, so I'm, I'm pretending like I'm the defender. Go ahead, drive again, drive. I'm here, boom, pass it, good. To break the monotony, now I tell my player, I force him to think. So he's not a robot, it's not robotic. You have to read me, you have to read me. I may play it high, you have to take one extra dribble and pass it, or I may stay here, and you can make that direct pass. So read me, ready? Go. Not bad, not bad. Now, on that drive, I want you to attack me. Straight line drive, make me commit. Like you're going to the basket and then make the pass. Ready? Not bad, okay? Good, so these are just, and we can attack from the baseline. Same thing. Got here, I'm attacking from the baseline. No, you stay there, you don't move. Stay there, and I pass it. These are just ideas as you work with our youth, as you work with the young players, just to put them in situations where everybody's growing and nobody's sitting there idle as one is getting all the reps. So he's working on his ball handling and his passing. He's working on his shot. And when you're done, maybe he makes 10. And then guess what? Now you do it. Now you do it, you, try, you change it. These are with two guards. We're not gonna forget about our big people, right? Go sit down, please. Number 50, come up, come up here. Now, same thing, same thing, you stay there. You stay there. So to start, now I have a big kid I'm working with. Initially, pass it, pass it to him. Good pass, on time, on target. Up, up, yep, pass it to him. Get him open. Was that a good pass? Okay, give me a good pass. That's a travel. That's a travel, all right? See what? You don't have to dribble. Look, look. Here, all right? You pivot. Now I'm teaching him to use his pivots. Now I'm teaching him to use his pivots. You watch these games. We do the 5 on no. It seems like the kids are getting it. It seems like they're understanding it. And then you put an aggressive defense on them. All of a sudden, the balls are flying all over the place. True or false? True or false? You guys have watched the games, right? All of a sudden, nobody can pass. Nobody can execute. And what once looked pretty looks like a disaster. Why? Why? Because we haven't taught them how to pass under pressure. We haven't taught them the different type of passes they can make, when to make them, how to make them. Because we get all the reps. <laughs> we get all the reps. Okay? So here, let me be you. Toss it to me. Give me the ball, give me the ball. Boom. Boom. Right there, I'm pivoting. Sometimes I'm pivoting right there. So that's one pass through the big. So I get my big to pass it from up top. Big fella, let's go down on the block. Come on, Francais? Okay. Here, first of all, fix that, fix that. That's not a good look, right? You're gonna be on TV, the whole world's gonna see you, man. That's not a good look, come on. Come on, your girlfriend's gonna see you like that. Oh, you're out there looking like a bum. Come on, huh? Come on. All right, so from here, now I want you, I want you to catch the ball back to the basket. Back to the basket. I want you to take, je veux que tu prennes un dribble, one dribble, and make that pass. 
How many of us agree that this could happen in a game where you catch it from the post and you find that pass? Is that a reality? Something like that may happen in a game? Huh? And how often do we work on it? How often do we teach this guy to make this pass? Not very often, is it? But in the game, we say, make the pass! It's wide open! Well, he doesn't know how to make the pass. We've never taught him. True or false? Right? Ball here. Take one dribble and make that pass. Not bad. Bring it back. Now, turn and face. I want you to turn and face. Turn and face. Pivot. Look at me. And make that pass. Make that pass. Now, it's probably going to be a skip pass over the top. Right? Now, coaches, we can get into the details of this all, but I just want to plant the seed and give you ideas. What you do with it, you can take it as far as you want to take it, but just ideas and suggestions on how to get our players better and prepare them best to produce in the game. So you can pass it from the post. You can pass it from the post. Another thing with big guys, another thing with big guys, you can have them tap the ball on the backboard, pivot away from the pressure, and make the pass. All right? So now let's say it's crowded. Ball here. So I want you to grab the rebound and make the pass there. Ready? Grab the rebound and make the pass. Not bad. Bring it back. Go. Ready? Uh, find it. Now, can you pass it? Was that a good pass? Wasn't a good pass. Give him a good pass. Give me a good pass. No good pass. Boom. Good. Not bad. All right. Another thing you can do. Another thing you can do. Very simple. Very simple. I want you to catch the ball here. One dribble. Pass it back to him for a shot. In the meantime, coach, remember, this guy's taking shots. Now, we get the ball here. I want you to take one dribble and kick it ahead to him. One dribble. One dribble, kick it ahead to him. Ah, when you catch the ball, I want you to freeze it. When you catch it, I want you to freeze. Okay? Go. One dribble, long pass. Good, good. Bring it back. Two dribbles, now move back. Two dribbles, long pass. Go. Good, good, good. So now we work on that pass. As we run in transition, our guard, this is a skill. This is a, a skill that you got to have as a guard to throw that long pass. Ball here. To throw that long pass. Because we can yell and talk and complain about not, being a, not making that pass or, or playing fast, but if we can't throw this pass, we're not going to be able to get that guy. It's important to be able to execute that. Now bring it back. Now we got him in the corner. You in the wing. The swing, swing pass. We create an advantage. Again, we create an advantage. Now we want to use the pass. I swing it to him as quickly as you can to him. Good. Not bad. Bring it back. Swing, swing. Good. So that's four shots. Say it's a two, two, two. Bring it back. Bring it here now. He's still shooting from the corner. I'll toss it to, I'm going to toss it to you. Okay? I want you to attack the baseline and find that pass. Ready? Dip your shoulder. Get as low as you can. Hard dribbles. Give him a pass. He can shoot on time on target. Yeah? Ready? Okay? Come on. Go. Okay, not bad. Bring it back. Yeah, don't step out of bounds, okay? We have uh, technical difficulties. I just put it in my pocket. Is that all right? Cool. All right, same thing. Go, go. Ah, see how you step out of bounds? Now, coaches, remember, this was supposed to be a shooting practice, right? But I find myself teaching footwork, passing, movement. Don't step out of bounds. Jump stop, okay? You start from the jump stop. I want you to take this leg or this leg. You go that way. Don't step out of bounds. Go. Ready? Bring it back. Still not, because you brought it out of bounds. Let me do it. Let me do it. Toss it to me. Toss it to me. Get the ball here, and I'm going. See that? Get the ball here. I'm going. But again, this is not the point, but hopefully, I mean, initially, we wanted to talk about shooting and passing. I get to teach footwork. And that's the beauty of getting players involved in these different situations as we're trying to accomplish, really trying to get them shots. 
So now, not only we're getting them shots, but we're getting this guy better because we're working on his footwork also. Okay, now, I want you to catch it from the wing. I'll toss it to you. Attack, attack from the wing, and make that pass, okay? Two dribbles and find that pass. Ready? Go, beat me, find that pass. All right, bring it back, bring it back. That's okay. And you know what? He doesn't make that mistake. Yeah, you can clap for him. You guys are good teammates. You guys got, ready? Go. Find that pass. Find that pass. Good. All right, bring it back. Okay, now. So that's another way. We're still getting that guy's shots in the corner. Another thing we do with our guards, another thing we do with our guards, now we're here, and Coach just talked about push, okay? Or keeping the ball on the sideline, no middle. So a lot of teams will position themselves, will position themselves in such a way where they're taking away middle from you and they're packing the paint. And you remember he talked about the last defender being your best defender. And a lot of times, especially the teams that, that are a shrink team who want to protect the paint, they have that bottom guy already in. So what we want to do is I want you to take a couple dribbles and bulk up, jump up, and trying to find that pass in the corner. So Ready? To, yep, 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 yep. Jump. jump up and find that pass. Yes. Ready? Find that pass. Not bad. Not bad. But that's a pass in our league. That's a pass that you can find if you're able to execute it. Because the weak side, the weak side, the ball is on that side. The weak side is trained to be here. Remember? under the basket. And coach talked about cleansing because of our rules, either this, this way. So now we train that guy to be able to find that pass. So that's another way also, as this guy is still getting repetition from the corner, from the corner, we are helping this guy improve. Bring the ball back. I need one extra player, a guard, a guard. I need a guard, come on. You guarding the ball, you, you're defending him, okay? But we're saying no middle, no middle. So you got your forearm on his hip, okay? You got your forearm on his hip. And I'm this big, I'm in a push, drop, ice, whatnot. Basically, I'm taking the ball away. I'm preventing the ball from going middle. Now we say, again, we're still trying to get him shots. You attack him, you attack this big. Freeze it, freeze it right there. Now I want you to drive past me. I'm this big. You've engaged me all the way to the baseline. I want you to almost jump out of bounds with your left hand. Find that pass. You got that? It's okay if you can't, if you, it's okay if you can't make it. It's okay if you can't make it. Ready? Let's give it a try. Go. Go. Now we're in a scrambling situation, and I know for a fact, for a fact that this guy is open. We got the defense moving. They're running all over the place, trying to chase us. I want you to pass it to me. Pass it to me. This is another pass, warranties. So I'm here, catch the ball. Boom, right there, on time, on target. Right there, bring it back. Same thing. Boom, catch it here, on time, on target. And this is another, this is another way you want to teach your players, again, to just become better passes, better passes. Make sense? All right, now, we've talked Let's get a big out. Uh, let's, uh, let's get a big man out here. Yeah, you're good now. Yeah, you're, you're good now. Let me get a big man. A big man, anyone. Come on. Good. Now I'm working with a guard and a big. Still want to get my big. Still want to get my big. Work on his passing and get my guy some shots. Get my guy some shots. What I want you to do now is spin the ball to yourself. Okay? I want you to jump, stop, turn. <coughs> and find the corner. Ready? Here you go. Go. Spin it. Spin it. Jump stop. Turn. Can we do it hard? Hard. Because that was kind of, all right? I don't want gentle. I want hard. Go on, bring it back. Here. Hard pivot. Hard pivot. Boom. Find it. Mm. Was that a good pass? No. Bring it back. Hard. Find it. Hard. Still, see, see that? Hey, coaches, as you notice, this is a pass he's not accustomed to making. He's not used to making, but it's not his fault. That's not his fault, because he hasn't been taught. 
He hasn't been taught how to make this pass. But now we get into the games. How many of us know that this situation will certainly present itself in the game? Well, then how do we expect them to make that pass if we've never taught them? Especially our younger players. The better, the better they become as passers, the better they will become as shooters, and the better our game will become. It's very important. We've neglected this aspect for way too long, okay? Get the ball from the block. Ball here. Okay, now, once you catch the ball, spin it to yourself, turn, baseline, and find that pass. Yeah? Okay. Ready? Spin it. Go. Turn. Not bad. Not bad. Can we give him a hand? Can we give him a hand? There you go, young player. Bring it back. Bring it back. Same thing. Again. Boom. Good. Good. Bring it back here. Another way. So now we've made four passes. Now we've made four passes. So his head, two, two, and he's, we're trying to get ten, he's trying to get ten shots. Big fella. Now, I want you to start there. Start there. Come set a high pick and roll. Set it. Roll. Freeze it. Freeze it. Stop, stop, stop right there. I will pass it to you. Find the corner. Okay, I'll pivot the other way. Let's talk about your footwork right now. Let's talk about your footwork. Ball here. As you roll to the basket, freeze. Stop, stop, stop. So you roll to the basket. Right now you would be about right here, right? I want you to bring this foot forward and find that pass. You got it? So now I'm working with a big and a guard, still trying to get my big better, make him a better passer, make him a better passer. I have him rolling to the basket. He catches it. Boom. One rep. Two. He's getting better. He's getting better. Now he can make that skip pass. And to make it even more interesting, maybe I'll add a coach just to put his hands up. Now he has to read. Now he has to pass around the coach. Right? Maybe sometimes he has to freeze the defense and then find that pass. Or maybe he has to freeze the defense, one dribble, and find that pass. He becomes a better passer and he becomes a better shooter. Okay, so that's in terms of just individual development. Let's bring, matter of fact, let's bring the entire team here. And I want to I want to suggest to you also another idea that you can utilize in your practices to get your young players better, to get your players better, young or old. Okay. To start, I need two players in the corner, two players in that corner, two players here, wing, two players there. All right. Three, go there. Then go, come here. I want you to attack middle, attack middle, straight line drive, pass it to the corner. Boom, good pass. After the pass, go where you just passed it. Go where you just passed it. Swing it. Attack middle, attack middle, pass it to the corner. Go to the corner, swing it. Attack middle, pass it to the corner, swing it. No, no dribble. Pass it, watch the guy in front of you, swing it. Attack middle, pass it. Swing it, attack middle, pass it, swing it, attack middle, pass it, swing it. Now freeze, freeze. I know I'm explaining the drill, and it's interesting how when my voice raises, it look, now all of a sudden we kind of forget the instructions. As you drive the basketball, players, I want you to think game. I'm thinking game. I'm low, I'm attacking, I want you to get in the paint. Get into the paint, two feet in the paint, and snap that thing. And whoever is the recipient of the pass, I want you to get this pass here as quickly as you can. Because remember, coaches, we talked about you creating an advantage, and what determines whether you keep that advantage or you lose it is how you pass. Your first pass will determine everything. If the first pass out of the advantage you've created is, 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 is slow, you're going to lose that advantage for sure. For sure. So you get in there with conviction, drive it hard. I don't want you to drive circles, straight line drives, get into the paint, kick it, swing it, drive it hard. Ready? Go, drive it, get into the paint, kick it, swing it, go, drive. No, no, oh, oh, oh. follow. Come on, come on, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, follow instructions, follow instructions. You drive it, you follow the pass. 
You drive it, you follow the pass. Go. Drive it. Pass. Good. Swing it. Good. Drive it. Pass. Kick it. Drive. Good. Good. Go. 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 Get into the paint. Get into the paint. Get into the paint. Entre dans la raquette. Dans la raquette. Entre dans la raquette. Get into the paint. Swing it. Good. Swing. Good. Quicker. Quicker. I want it quicker. I want it quicker. Good. Good. Now, catch it outside the three, please. Outside the three. Good. Now, I want you to pass it baseline, drive baseline, pass it to the wing, swing it to the corner, drive it, swing it to the corner, swing it to the corner. Good, drive it. Wing, get into the paint, go. Good, drive it. Now, faster, faster, faster. That's too slow. Not fast enough. Not fast enough. Get there. Kick it. Nope, 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 nope. You pass it to the wing. Pass it to the wing. Ready? Go. Go. Wing. Good. Swing it. Where you going? Where you going? Up. Up. You're up there. Follow the ball. Follow the ball. Follow the ball. Follow the ball. Good. Nope. 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 Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. See, coaches, now, what are we finding out? What are we finding out? Can anybody tell me? I can't hear you. Can speak for everybody. Most of the guys are using one hand, which is the right hand. Okay. No, it's getting sloppy faster. It's gone. Thank you. Well, well, the game is played at which pace? Huh? How, how's the game played? The game is played at this pace. So when we teach them, we walk, we talk, but then we get in the game, and it's loud, and, and they can't hear you, or they, they hear you too much, and all of a sudden, nobody can execute. You have it here. How many times did we see him pass it to the corner when we wanted to pass it to the wing? So this is, just a great, this is just another great opportunity. We keep teaching them and condition them, condition them to be able to, to execute under duress. Under duress. You put a little bit of stress. You want them to go hard and see also who can follow instructions when the stakes are high? Now let's start over. Start over. Follow your pass. Follow your pass. Penetrate. Get into the paint. Make a good pass. I want that pass to the corner quick, hard. Good pass. Drive it. Get into the paint. Find the next pass. Swing it as quickly as you can. We got that? Go, attack it, attack it. Go, go, make it. Good, go, swing it. Good, drive it, drive it. Kick it. Good, good. Drive, 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 drive. Come on, come on, come on. Good, good. Excellent. Go, 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 go. Faster, faster, faster. Get there, get there. Kick it. Good. Nope, where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Go, go. And stop. Good. So we're not shooting the basketball, we're working on driving, kicking, relocation. Another idea I want to suggest to you is I want to play there, play a half court, half court. I need two players here. One player here. Come on, come on. This, there. And right here. Again, working on technique now. Take a step in. Take one big step in. One big step in. One step. You take about five. All right? Again, swing it. Pass it to him. Snap it. Pass it to him. No, 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 no. Pass there. No, no, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Pass it to him. Pass it to him. Pass it to him. Cut to the basket. Lay it up. Okay. We get the rotation. Now I want everybody to follow the pass. Everybody follow the pass. So after you pass, you come here. After you rebound, you get here. Okay? 
Right now, hard, long chest pass. Okay? And you follow your pass. Go. Hard passes. Hard passes. Hard passes. Good. Good ball here. Good. Can I get another ball? Can I get another ball? Please. Thank you. Follow. Go. Go. This is not fast enough, guys. This is not fast enough. Not fast enough. Good. Got the rebound. Come on. Now I don't want the ball to touch the floor. The ball cannot touch the floor. The ball cannot touch the floor. Good passes. Grab your rebound. Don't let the ball touch the floor. Don't let the ball touch the floor. Go, 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 go. I'm adding another ball. I'm adding another ball. Go, go. Go, go. Ball coming. Good, good. Better be ready. Better be ready. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta move. We gotta move. Come on. Get to the spot. Go, go, go. Who's up top? Who's up top? Who's up top? Go, move it. Move it. Grab the rebound. Give it to him. Give it to him. Good. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Go. Pass it. Pass it. Now everything is a skip pass. Everything is a skip pass. Skip pass. Skip pass. Skip pass. Stop. 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 Ball here. This is very on purpose. Very on purpose. I raise my voice. I want to see who can think, who can function. As we are under duress, we got to get something done. We got to get it done. Can you move? Can you think? And can you still follow instructions? All right? I said about what, five times? Skip pass, skip pass, skip pass. People are just trying to survive out there. They're just trying to survive. Coach, I'm just, I'm just trying to survive. But that's okay. Okay, I know, I know, I don't understand it, yeah. but they can see it with their eyes. Okay. They can, they can listen with their eyes. All right. right. Okay, so now, same thing. Everything is a skip pass, except for the last pass is a bounce pass. Okay. Can we get that done? Follow. All right, come on, skip pass. Skip pass, skip pass, over the head. Skip pass, skip pass. Go, come on, 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 come on. We gotta move, we gotta move. Ready, go, go, go. Come on, you here? You here? Come on, 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 come on. You, you, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go, go, get there, get there, get there. Go, go, we gotta move, we gotta move. Go, go, go. Skip pass, skip pass. Last pass is a bounce pass. This pass is a bounce pass. A bounce pass. Good, good. Go, go. Skip pass, skip pass. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We need five good layups, five layups. Five layups, make five layups. Here we go, five in a row. One, everybody counts. Everybody counts, everybody counts the layups. Two more counts. Who's gonna lead us? Hold it, hold it, hold it. How many laps did we get? Stop, stop, stop. How many did we want? Five. We said five laps, five laps. So now we're working on our communication also, right? Everybody counts, everybody counts. But because we didn't keep count, we got cheated out of the game because we, we didn't know how many timeouts we had left. We didn't know how many team fouls we had. Why? Because we're moving so hard. We're just trying to survive. We're just trying to survive. 